exception handling which helps us to graciously handle the errors which is happening in the PLS skill programs there are two types of errors which may occur when we write a program the first type of error is called as a syntax error the example which is displayed here is having three variables v1 v2 and result v1 is assigned with 5 v2 is assigned with 1 and third result we are trying to assign value by dividing v1 divided by v2 but when we assign this value to the result we are supposed to give colon equal to but we are using equal to here when we are using colon equal to it's a assignment operator when we use equal to it's a comparison operator actually this is not a condition so this is a syntax error when we try to run this particular program without doing anything the compiler itself identify the error and say that there is a error in the program so without fixing this particular syntax error we cannot work with this particular program this type of errors are called as syntax errors these syntax errors will be fixed by the programmer then only the software will be released to the end users but whenever end user is using the software they are expected to give a certain type of input when they violate the rule to give that input and give a wrong input it may affect the performance of the system by the wrong input the system may get hanged or it may be stopped abruptly so this type of runtime errors are called as exceptions these exceptions can be handled within the program itself which will help to not to stop the program abruptly the system will not be stopped abruptly the control will goes to the exception handling section and in exception handling section what all the instruction is written by the programmer in that way the execution of the program will continue whenever we have any this type of exception there are three types of exception may occur one is within the sql second one within pl sql or within the forms whatever may be the error oracle giving three options to this type of errors the first one is all the errors are numbered second one these errors are having a name third one it's having a message so these three in things are very very important for handling the exception so before explaining how to handle this exception let us see one example for the exception so in the displayed program here we have v1 number v2 number result number three variables v1 is assigned with 5 v2 is assigned with 0 and result colon equal to v1 divided by v2 dbms output dot put line i want to print result syntax wise this program will execute properly but when i try to divide 5 by 0 it will give a arithmetic opera error arithmetic exception so the system will stop abruptly this is called exception this exception can be handled in a nice way using a section called exception after writing all the program after the last statement before the end i am creating a section called exception exception section is nothing but a section for handling the exception which is happening within the program so in this particular program i am checking what type of error it is using when when is like if condition when zero divide then what i am doing is if at all it is a zero divide error then what i am doing is i am printing a message called we are in exception section and i am changing the value of v2 to 1 then i am dividing v1 divided by v2 and try to print the value so now it will print the value 5 as the output so here i am handling the exception even though i am trying to divide 5 uh, by 0 it will create the exception but exception was handled within the exception section and i am printing the value 5 without abruptly stopping the program this is the advantage of exception handling for most of the exceptions which may come very often or named and numbered by oracle all these things are called as named exceptions so here whenever we don't know what type of exception may come oracle is giving another option called others so when i don't know what type of exception may come what i am going to do here is i am going to use others exception 
when others then dbms output dot put line we are in exception section v2 is equal to 1 dbms output dot put line v1 divided by v2 whatever may be the error in within the program whether it is a zero divide or too many values or no record found whatever may be the error all these errors are handled with the same way using uh, when others then DB, it will print that we are in exception section and it will change the value of v2 then it will try to divide v1 by v2 and display the output others can be used when we do when we handle all other expected exceptions handled by us within the exceptions uh, level and if at all we are anticipating some other exception which uh, which we are not predicting then that can be handled with the help of others but others cannot be used in a general way another advantage of this exception handling section is you can check any number of exceptions within this exception section i can say when zero divide then i can handle it then when others then like that i can have multiple when sections for checking a particular type of exception and handling it here is the example for the same declare v1 number v2 number result number v1 is equal to 5 v2 is equal to 1 result v1 divided by v2 and i am printing the value the next one select salary into v2 from test where name like a if anybody's name is starting with a then it will store that particular record value into v2 and it will print it will store the salary of that particular person into v2 and i am going to print the value for example if so many people are having uh, name starts with a then it will try to store multiple values in v2 in that situation i may get a error called too many rows so when many people are having name starts with a then it creates a exception called too many values okay if at all the, there is no person by name st uh, starts with a then it will return no data found then that exception will be created when this v1 divided by v2 when i do if the v2 value is zero it may create zero divide error so like that different types of errors may occur and different types of errors can be handled in the exception section of the same program so in this one i am using zero divide then i am using too many rows and finally i am using others fine there are few errors which may display a same message for a different situation for example whenever i am trying to insert a null value to a primary key it will display that primary key violated whenever i am trying to insert a duplicate value to a primary key it will display that primary key violated so for two different situation the same message is given if we don't want to get the same message we want to give a very clear message to the end user if at all we want to name a particular exception by ourselves which is already named and numbered by oracle then we can use unnamed exception option oracle allow us to create our own exception name and our own message the only thing is the number is already created by oracle we have to initialize our exception with that oracle number once we do that whenever that particular error happens it will call your our, our own exception and it will display our own message for example here in this program i am creating three exceptions a exception b exception and c exception exception is a data type exception data type and a b c are the exceptions and what i am doing is using pragma exception in it i am initializing all these exception variables with the numbers which is already created by oracle within the program what i am trying to do is insert into test child values 311 i am trying to insert a duplicate value so whenever a duplicate value comes it will automatically call the exception a because it is assigned with minus 2291 because 2291 
is 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 a exception which try to uh, identify when we try, when we give a wrong value to the test child and when i am trying to delete a particular record it will display that particular value so here we are deleting from test where id is equal to 2 the number 2292 will be created and that will be handled by b section and similarly whenever i am trying to insert a null value now insert in a null value for a not null value then minus 1400 error will be occurred and that will be handled by exception c so here i am giving three exceptions with my own name and my own message if i don't give this name and message for all these three type of error it is going to display the same name and the same message but with the different number in the oracle so this is called unnamed exceptions when i am writing application there i want to create some exception based on the application the application based errors cannot be handled by oracle system errors so what oracle allow us to do is we can create our own error number our own our own error name and our own error message and we can create exception error also so in this displayed example i am creating my own exception and I am, I am identifying where the exception happened and I throw the exception and that exception will be handled in the exception section. But instead of handling what I am trying to do is I am creating the exception error and which will stop the program execution abruptly. Declare A exception. A is the exception variable and exception is the data type. V number colon equal to 60. Begin if v value is greater than 50 then i want to tell that the there is a exception in this particular program for example i am entering the marks of a student out of 50 so if at all i try to insert a value above 55 that is not at all possible in that situation i supposed to give a error so i am throwing the error using a word called rice a rice a will creating the exception once this rise a comes the control straight away comes to the exception section the remaining output statement and all it will not print if at all v value is less than 50 then i will print that v value is and i will print the value in exception handling section i instead of handling the exception using rise application error i am creating the exception and i am stopping the program abruptly when I want to give rise application error, here I can give my own error number and I want error message. Minus 20,000 to minus 20,999 is the range of numbers I can use for creating the application oriented exceptions. And the message can be anything. Here I am giving minus 20,001 as the error number and value is too high as a message to the end user. So this is the user defined exception. With this exception handling section is over. Thank you.